weather's getting kind of cold. It's time for that, uh, it's time for forging. Uh, I've been spending the summer just doing a little upgrades to the tiny blacksmith shop and I realized there needed to be some tweaking, which I expected. With a tiny space like this, it needs to be very efficient. I don't want anything in here that doesn't need to be in here. And if I do want it in here, it needs to have its place out of the way so it's not a hazard of me tripping or getting caught on it and blah, 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 blah. You all know that. So I've done that. I'm pretty excited what I did and uh, and I'm getting ready to forge. Let me run you through the upgrades to the tiny blacksmith shop. So one of the things I did was to build an enclosure for the bathroom fan that supplies fresh air. Uh, I had something that sat in the windowsill but it was sort of just sort of proof of concept to see if it actually worked and here I just kind of packaged it up into a nice soundproof little box that slips into the windowsill of the forge and I made a little pass through for the power cord to come into the shop and it's now it's nice and neat and it's even quieter. So when I'm banging on my pieces of work on the anvil I get a lot of shaking. I get a lot of bouncing when I have the tripod on the floor. Well I came up with uh, a little workaround on that. This is nothing more than a selfie stick mounted on a bracket that I made that goes over one of the rafters and it's held in place by a C-clamp. And here's a, here's a close-up of that. Uh, just a piece of angle iron welded to a piece of square tubing and I drilled a hole. There was a mounting hole for the selfie stick. This just extends. I bought this multi-angle mount for the phone. And I just hang it on the rafters and I can slide it back and forth. And it stays off the floor, it gives me a lot of versatile angles to film from. It reduces the shaking quite a bit. So this will be, uh, this, will, this is gonna come in really handy. recognize that it's my first little leaf hook and I use it hang my rag it works Something else I picked up was this uh, hand grinder. I don't know. I got it off of eBay. It was pretty cheap, even with delivery. It's pretty hefty. And it's a little old school, but I figured, uh, you know, sometimes I just, uh, you just need it. So anyway, cool old grinder. So this is my old brake drum. I didn't know if this was deep enough. So I have to be at the scrap yard and I saw this truck brake drum you can see it's quite a bit deeper so I'm gonna give that a shot you know it's only about an inch inch and a half maybe but I think it'll help me out greatly I, I found these welding blankets on Amazon for like 12 bucks they're rated for I don't know 
a lot higher than the forge gets and I thought it might be a good idea to wrap the outside of the forge to kind of keep some of the heat in so it doesn't get so hot in this tiny space but also a little bit of a safety thing so if I accidentally bump my arm into the side of the forge I don't burn myself. So all I do is use these office binder clamps and I just kind of attach it around the forge. Uh, I'll see if this works keeping some of the heat in and um, if anything, it's just another piece of safety equipment. So I want to fill you guys in on a little story. My son, who is seven, uh, he goes on class trips and he was always asking me to be a chaperone. But he was like, Dad, you really got to come to this. We're going to an old farm and we're going to learn about carpentry, uh, textiles, how they cook back in the, in the day. And there was a blacksmith shop. So I did what I had to do as a father, took the time off, was a chaperone had a fantastic time. My son's favorite part was the blacksmithing. I, hear, I took some video of him. I got to talking to the old blacksmith guy there. Super awesome, very friendly gentleman. And he actually lives pretty close to me. And he has an open forge on the weekends and I've been trying to go. I went once so far. It was the quintessential blacksmith shop. And blacksmith who's at the who's doing this hobby for 30 years, what would your shop look like? Picture that. This shop was just like that. It was awesome. I was totally surprised. He said, let's let's do a project. So fire up the forge. So we did, and he asked, Well, what would you like to do? And and I was like, you know, I never I never forge weld before. It's now this came out terrible, but I am so proud of this. This is my first forge weld project. I thought this was pretty cool. And the welds did hold. They're not, you know, once again, they're not pretty, but I forge weld. And I made something kinda cool. I asked him his advice on making leaves, and I made this. I thought that came out really nice. I like turning metal into sort of organic forms because it's sort of unexpected. You'd have this cold, hard uh, material and to try and bring some life to it by replicating nature is something that I hope to do more of. Uh, I tried my hand on another, on my own, another bottle opener and this was a complete fail. This was supposed to be a, <laughs> it was supposed to be a gift and I, uh, yeah, whatever. And I tried another letter opener. You know, once again, my scroll's not very smooth. And my blade is at least a double-edged blade. It, it doesn't look exactly like a butter knife. Well, it kind of does like my other one, but did this. And just to show you what a professional blacksmith does in a matter of minutes, pounded out this very cool, nicely done J-hook, which I will be mounting in my tiny blacksmith shop for inspiration. When I can make J-hooks that look as awesome as this, I'll be very happy. So I'm gonna put this up. So I have been doing some work, not a lot. I, you know, I didn't film everything. It's just, uh, you know, time is always short and sometimes I just wanna get down to it. Anyway, you know what I always say, that all this craziness, if I can do it, you can do it, right? But I also say, do something in metal. Do it. It's really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. All right, Evil Twin X saying, catch you on the next one, guys. And, and, and any, any girls out there, too. I hope there's girls watching.